up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door to wake up yeah we can spend all day in there i'll put the tv in the room we'll have a netflix marathon kg saxophone we'll order in a bunch of food i'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone Pumpkin pie, campfires, fall festivals, and cozy sweaters are some of my favorite things about fall. How about y'all? Let me know in the comments below. Whether you have already decorated or are still prepping to decorate like me, hopefully this video will give you some ideas that you can incorporate in your home when decorating for fall. Don't mind the mess in the attic. That is a project for another day. But right now I'm trying to dig through our attic and find all of the fall decor bring it out and see what i have to work with this year so in today's video once i find everything i need and that i'm looking for i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a fall haul show you what i already had where i got it what i got this year as well as how i'm decorating this year and also bringing in some clips of how i decorated it and used it last year because i did change a few things up this year if you're new here, I hope that I can make a good enough impression on you to where you'll stick around and subscribe. My name is Michelle. I'm a mom of three, four years and under, and I also have a six week old. So here on my channel, you can find lots of cleaning motivation as well as seasonal decor and some home makeover projects. Motivation can come and go. So my goal is to always inspire you to try something new or to give you the mindset to do what it is that you want to. And if you've been here before, it's always a pleasure welcoming you back. But let's go ahead and get started. And because it is still 95 degrees outside and probably even hotter in this attic, I'm gonna try to hurry up, grab what I need, and get down as fast as possible. I don't like being on my own. I could use someone to hold. And I've been trying to fill the void. But my bed is getting cold. Cause I don't have you. I don't have us. At least not anymore. You had to go away just to figure out who you are And I'm in this empty house with your pictures on my wall But I don't have you, I don't have us, at least not anymore Now that I have everything down, I'm going to start going through some of the boxes and seeing what I have The majority of my decorations are from Hobby Lobby, Amazon, Michaels, or Home Goods. In the US, I would say those are probably the most common and reasonable places to find seasonal home decor. I picked up a few extra things this year, including these pillow covers. Instead of buying a ton of different decorative seasonal pillows, um, I found that you can just buy the pillow case covers and then you don't have to store a bunch of pillows that take up a ton of space now these were ended up being a little bit too orange so i didn't use them but i probably am going to use them for halloween decor this is going to be one of the very first years i'm decorating for halloween so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one i picked up these other vases from target they're from the Magnolia Heart and Hand Collection. And then I also picked up a couple things from Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn. So this beautiful vase is from Crate and Barrel and I had planned on putting this on our kitchen island. I had a few other things from there for Halloween, but the next thing that I picked up was this beautiful garland from Pottery Barn. It came with a matching wreath, but I ended up not getting the wreath. Um, because I have a ton of wreaths that I'm act, that I'm going to put up in a later video. But um, this one was, I had the idea to put it on one of my console tables. And I loved the colors. I thought it was elegant and well made. So that is another thing that I ended up picking up this year. So I'm going to lay out everything on the dining room area. And then kind of dig in and see some of the decorations that I already have. So this big bin is something that I had last year. I purchased a lot of this stuff last year. 
And I don't know if I'm planning on using everything this year, but definitely a lot of the stuff. So that sign I got from Home Goods. This is the famous autumn sign. I see it everywhere. It's from Hobby Lobby. And then a lot of the floral decors are from, um, the big orange leaves are from Amazon. And then a lot of the other stuff is from Hobby Lobby. I'll pull that out and start working with it once I kind of get to the area where I want to put it. So that is a little Minnie Mouse. I think I got that at a store called At Home. Um, and then next I'm going to pull out some of the other stuff. So again, lots of little floral arrangements. Those fall pillowcases are both from Amazon and they came in a pack of four, but I only used those two last year and I probably am going to only use those two this year as well. Here are the other two pillowcases that it came with. I think last year I was trying to do more of a black and white, like checkered pumpkin theme. Um, and then, but this year I'm not gonna do that. And also a quick tip is, you know, I think I mentioned this before, but getting the pillowcases instead of the full on pillows really helps save space when you're trying to put things away. But that seems to be my biggest dilemma whenever I buy new things. Whenever it's time to take everything down, I'm like, okay, where am I gonna put all this stuff? And then that's how my attic turns out the way it is. But here in this box is where I have a lot of my pumpkins. Those gold pumpkins, half of them I spray painted gold. I bought them white on Amazon. And I also bought the gold and white textured ones on Amazon. And then I thought I was going to do a lot of white with gold, but I ended up not liking the white pumpkins and then ended up just spray painting them all gold. So here is everything that I got out that I plan on using most of this stuff. I'm going to try and work around and see how I want to decorate this year and then whatever doesn't get used then I'll just put back in the box. So I'll go ahead and do a quick fall haul here on some of the things I didn't mention before. Um, this blanket here is from Amazon. Some of the reviews said that it kind of fell apart a little bit which I can see that there are some pieces that pulled apart but um, I really like the color and it goes well with the living room area. Um, those pillowcases I've mentioned before too as well, they came in a pack of four, but I tend to only use the other two. I'm not using the black and white. Maybe if I do a Halloween theme, I can change it up and, and add those, incorporate those as well. Um, the vase you guys saw earlier as well, that's from Crate and Barrel. The garland is from Pottery Barn, which you guys saw me unbox that earlier and the vases are from the heart and hand collection at target the two gold buckets are from michael's and i plan on putting some floral arrangements in there and then this little fall bouquet i use in the kitchen area this little pumpkin i pulled out i was gonna put on the couch but it didn't look great um, so i ended up not using that but these purple floral arrangements I plan to put in those white vases and those I got at Target. The pumpkins right there that look like wood wicker or whatever are from Hobby Lobby and they light up and then this candle I found shopping at like this boutique place it smelled so good and it's like and carved in wood but it's from a small shop called Kathy's Country Candles with a K and it's the pumpkin caramel crunch scent and it smells so good. The next thing over here, these are all the stuff that I already had. Those orange pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby. I used them in an arrangement last year, which I'll show you. And also these leaves, all of the bigger um, leaves are from Amazon. I got, I think two packs of those as well as those yellow leaves. And then all of the rest of the leaves are just from Hobby Lobby. And then again, this famous sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then all of the pumpkins are from Amazon. And some of them that are kind of distressed looking, I bought that way. And then the ones that are solid gold, I spray painted all of those. So I have somewhat of an idea what I'm gonna do in each area, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started and then see how everything ends up turning out. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you, and you got me too. You can ride 
So because our ceilings are so tall in the living room for the fireplace area, I like something on the sides that add lots of height. So I thought that these two things were perfect. I was a little nervous that it would be too much white, but I really like just how it's simple and the way it turned out. So this is what I did last year. I created a garland effect across the fireplace with the Amazon leaves that I got. I also purchased some additional stuff from Hobby Lobby and created like this beautiful fall garland. I ended up not doing that this year because I wanted to keep it more simple, but this is probably one of my favorites that I did last year. So this is also very simple and elegant to make, but you'll see where I ended up using all of this stuff um, in the front entryway. So moving on to that area, you can see how I decorated this space. So right when you walk in our home on the left side, there is a console table with this beautiful black vase. And this is where I decided to use all of that decor. Next, I'm gonna use these smaller two gold buckets and put those yellow floral arrangements in there. If you can't tell, I really like flower arrangements, but when you have like a, a wider top and you don't have as many flowers, I guess, or stems, it, it tends to just flop to one side. So I got that little foam thing from Hobby Lobby and then you can just stick the flowers or the stems in there and that way it'll keep them sticking straight and upright instead of always just flopping to one side. I just used some of the golden orange pumpkins and instead of making like a long garland I just made somewhat of like a pumpkin patch in this area now this color orange black and gold will all look great if you are going to add Halloween decor to it so you don't have to like take down all this stuff I feel like you can just add some simple Halloween touches in there and it will all still go with the theme now in this big lantern um, last year I put pumpkins in here as well as like the little fairy lights but since I used the pumpkins in that kind of what I called a pumpkin patch area then I'm just going to take these fall color daisies and fill up the whole lantern with that. I'm going to place this lantern on the bottom of the console table so instead of just having it like a simple um, pumpkin like I had last year before or a candle this color really makes this lantern pop. What I did last year was I bought this little bucket from Michaels. The flowers are from Michaels as well, and I just put it next to the sign in the kitchen. So this famous autumn sign from Hobby Lobby, I'm going to put on the bottom of the console table, and then that is where I'm going to put the lantern and see what I mean by having the extra color there. It ties in with the top area. And this is how the entryway table turned out. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on fire 
I mentioned everything I used from the entryway table I used on the mantle last year. So what I did last year for this entryway table is, as I mentioned before, I ended up spray painting all of the pumpkins and then I just made kind of a simple pumpkin patch. And then the lanterns, I added some fairy lights and some pumpkins in there. So I love the way that it turned out this year. So when you walk a little bit further into our house, kind of across from the kitchen, we have another console table that I'm gonna clean up and then use the long garland that I got from Pottery Barn to fix up this area. You can tell here that it's not long enough for this console table. So what I did was I added a couple picks that I used in my arrangement on the fireplace last year and added them to the end. So you can't really tell that it's not a, a part of the original garland arrangement. These pumpkins I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm laughing because I decorated this whole area and then one of them doesn't work, which I was really bummed about because they look really good because they are lit up, they light up and one of them's one of them is lit up and then the other one doesn't work. So anyway, I'm just going to keep them there. Uh, I got the clear vases from like World Market a little while ago. And then those long picks there that I put in those vases are from Hobby Lobby. The candles and candle holders are from Amazon. And I've, I've had them there before, so I'm just adding it to this decor. But they'd also look good for Halloween. So I could just get some like orange candles and theme up this area if I'm adding some Halloween decor here. So here's the outcome. I went to turn the lights on and there's my one lit up pumpkin. It would look really good if I added some fairy lights in there. I didn't have any, but as I'm looking back now, I can see how like adding a couple lights really, really like glams up the area. So just some additional ideas if you're looking for them. All about the good vibes. These green wreaths on these doors next to our console table have been up since spring and I'm just adding some fall picks in here to make it more themed. From spring until now is when I just change out the theme. So like for 4th of July, I'll add like red, white, and blue ribbons and spring, I'll add a couple spring colors just to match whatever I'm putting on that console table. You said my I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. You tell me you'll stay. Well, take Here's how I decorated it from last year. So, yeah, I added some of the checkers. Both of my pumpkins worked, and I also added the sign right there. Those yellow flowers are what I used on my entryway console table, and then I kept those clear vases the same. I just need you, I don't know what it is you do, I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do. So after I did my decor haul, I ended up picking up like two more things and one of them was this tray from Target. It was the Heart and Hand collection and it was $29.99. I thought I could also use it for Christmas time. So that's one of the reasons why I got it. And I also wanted to put my pretty vase um, directly on the tray and then decorate around the tray. So um, these floral arrangements I got from Hobby Lobby. I wanted something that would be long enough to fit in the vase and also like make a statement since it's in the center of the island. Um, if they are a little bit tall, you can just bend the ends of them. And then the, the good thing about that is that you can make them different heights if you need them. So you don't have to add too many. You can always just spread out the ends to make the arrangement look fuller. I used to put a lot of things in a mirrored tray, but it would get so dusty. So that's why I kind of like this wood tray from Target. And I'm just adding the um, fall leaves. Those leaves I got in a pack from Amazon. And then some of those pumpkins I spray painted. That candle I'm going to put right there. The scent smells super good. And that's what I kind of told y'all about earlier. 
Here's how the island turned out. I wanted just one simple thing because our island is a catch-all. Usually it's a lot messier than this. So just having one simple thing will make it look less cluttered. Last year I made a little arrangement on this tiered tray and again kept it super simple and put it in the middle of the island. If you have small kids, you know that sometimes decor can be difficult on like smaller tables, like the coffee table. So I just add this little candle tray. I did this last year as well. Um, just one piece with three pumpkins. The girls still get those pumpkins and pull them off, but it's not something that can like be breakable or anything like that and can be moved easily. So these are the pillow cases that I showed you guys earlier. And like I said, instead of getting pillows, I'm just grabbing one of the pillows that's already on the couch and I'm stuffing the pillow case with, um, with that pillow. The orange pumpkin cases that I purchased this year did not go good with the living room like with the with the color of the throw blanket i had it was a little too bright of an orange and i wanted more of like a warm color orange so i may use that for halloween decor like i said this is my first year going decorating for halloween so i'm gonna see how you know what all i come up with and what i can get and how i can make the area so the last thing that I got was this sign. Well, I got this sign last year and I kind of showed y'all earlier that I put it in the kitchen last year. So um, this year I'm just going to add it to the fireplace because I feel like um, it was a little too simple and I just needed something there. These tall, like I think they're called pompous grass flowers I saw at Hobby Lobby. I did make one trip to Hobby Lobby. Um, kind of at the very end of filming this video and I saw these and I was like those would look good on my two vases next to the TV so I'll go ahead and start the home tour I hope that you enjoyed today's video be sure you're subscribed for more upcoming videos let me feel you love again cause I've been Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us And we can stay up all night Kissing under streetlights 